As always, it's our favorite day of the week, MILF Manor Mondays. If you guys saw last week's episode, you know that this week has potential to be the best episode of the season so far, and it's because the daughters are now here to try to tempt the boys to go away from their moms. Really quickly though, before we get into the episode, some of these videos have been getting struck down, or I have to cut out certain parts of it as it goes on, so it's still visible for you guys all to see. But if you guys want to see these videos right away, and actually like the full version that I put out, if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, once again, every Monday, we're here. But we got 40 minutes of pure chaos. Let's get into it. The time has come to see if you found a match. If the feeling is a mutual, you will stay in the villa. I had completely forgotten just because I was overwhelmed at the fact that they were bringing the daughters in that today is the matchmaking day as well. If you're brand new, they've been in the villa for a while and now it's time to see if they have a connection. Kind of a way for them, you know, to cut a bit of dead weight on the show. From day one. My connection's always been more so with Jose, so I'm, I'm texting Jose. Go with the Jose because I don't wanna just play game. And after hearing some of the moms give a few reactions to the whole, you know, picking thing, I think the whole fucking cast is gonna choose Jose at this rate. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna do it, you know, Love Island style where they're all around a fire pit, everybody's crying. Or if there's gonna be a simple text message, you didn't get a match, <laughs> see you later. Today I choose So Young because she's a very special person. Thank you. Love Island's also bullshit. I feel like the connection more as a friendship. And the other one is more like, uh, maybe there's Possibly more future, too. yeah. A bit of a weird situation there because on their date paula said to ryan i knew it was always you but also she's saying that one of them she only views really as a friend and i don't think you pour ice cubes and rub them all over essentially on one of your friends maybe you do i don't know early predictions right here a little espn da -na -na, da -na -na. i am predicting that paula chooses ryan and i'm predicting that jose is unfortunately going to choose kelly and the reason i say unfortunately is number one paula hates her with like a burning passion and number two is the fact that in the last episode we saw that her daughter shows up so she had to have got a match with somebody and at this point i don't think it's big ween or billy either oh my god they're doing it love island style baby yes that's what i'm talking about the reason i'm choosing you is because that's a pretty ring just like your face fuck these speeches could be unbelievable i got a text you and stephanie chose each other you're both staying to explore your connection yes yes, yes! he's not leaving baby you guys all know that you've been watching the channel favorite person on this show by a mile because tonight will be the night that i will fall for you jimmy and ryan both chose you for their match this is so hard and they cut to a fucking commercial break what is this choose the person so ryan i chose you <laughs> Probably not the time to do a ah! one of those shits, dude. Just considering the fact that somebody else just got their heart broken. I know it's your kid. Maybe like one of these where you go like a... Even one of those would have been fine. Not a... Ah! Ah! One for one on the call so far. I got a feeling that Disco Mommy's not going to be holding Jose and Big Wiener Billy's hand at the same time. But maybe she might be. Charlene, you chose Ryan S, but he did not choose you. Who the hell would he have chosen, Stephanie? Maybe he just didn't choose anybody. That honestly could have been what it is. Maybe I'm a little pushy. Maybe. And a little intense for the guys. I don't know. Maybe. Once again, I think she's one of the funniest parts of this television show. Definitely a little bit pushy. But you know what? Maybe some people come on these television shows have a little bit of self-reflecting. And maybe when she looks back at it, the next person she meets in the real world, she'll do better. Charlene, never change. Long live the penis! <laughs> I considered putting in Charlene, but I don't see much of a romantic connection there. I got a take. So the guys holding hands like they're about to walk out to play for Alabama football. What's going on over here, fellas? You and April chose each other. I'm keeping my eye on you. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Big Gabriel in a crop top. Got my eye on you, fucker. <laughs> God, I love him. Kelly, so young, and Shannon. All chose you for their match. Oh my god. Once again, I think this show already ruined it with the fact that we saw our daughter. The woman that I chose is Kelly. 
<laughs> I ain't doing that shit anymore, are you? Even though I still don't, I'm not too sure about this. At least for the sake of television, Kelly's daughter's now gonna be on the show. And let's see how strong this connection really is. Which it would be mad weird for a daughter to go after the guy that her mom's dating, but you know what? This show seems to break down every single boundary that's ever been out there, so why not that? So to summarize the rest of the matchmaking up, Ryan gets a text, it says every single person that didn't get a match has to go get their shit and get the hell out. But now is where the episode should get juicy. Bring in the daughters. I got a text. Ooh. It's time to take your connection into the real world. A close friend or family member will meet you here. What? But with how evil this show has been, you got a real feeling it's not gonna be a best friend, an aunt, a sister. It's gonna be a fucking ex. Oh my lord. Come here, baby doll. What are you doing? How are you? <laughs> Love you so much. That's her ex-husband. <laughs> Nothing like going on a date with someone you've been seeing for a few weeks. For their ex-husband to walk up, grab their ass, say I love you, and then she replies, I love you so much too. Joey, fucking run. Run to one of these daughters, man, please. And I was engaged at the time, and he walked into my dressing room and took my engagement ring off. And it really shows what you think about the current dudes you're with as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Nothing like kissing your ex-husband the second they show up and saying, Great ass. Great ass. Ay, ay, ay. Do you want children? One day, I'd be open to it. <laughs> <laughs> because my mom doesn't want any more children. To give you the run through of what happened with Paula's daughter, Paula and Ryan, I just asked some questions like, hey, do you want kids? Well, my mom doesn't want any more kids. Ryan gave his whole thing where he's like, oh, she's spiritually, she's so young. I think it's so attractive. It's not a deal breaker. It was pretty boring to be honest, but it seems like they do approve of Ryan. So good for the two of them. And Stephanie, you see this guy as the one or just get into the one or what? What is it? That was a little bit of an awkward question. On Gabriel's date, things seem to be a little bit shaky and not just Gabriel's hands because he spilt pizza all over himself. But it seems like they're both in like that awkward limbo still where nothing's happened over a few weeks, but they have still chosen each other. They got to talk, they got to figure it out. You can only go slow for so long in my opinion. And Disco Mommy's daughter, Disco Baby, whatever the hell they called her, starts asking some really hard-hitting questions about Jose's family, where he's from, what's his interest, or at least that's what I thought she was gonna do. How far has your intimacy gone? It kinda can read anybody. So if Jose's like playing a game, she's definitely gonna sniff it out. And here's the big moment. McKenna steals Jose, which you gotta give credit to Jose. He just talked to Joey and said the whole date that he had to go through was bullshit. So thank God someone's backing him up. But this is the big question here. McKenna said that she wants to grill him and ask him a few questions. The way they made it look like on the previews is that she was gonna ask him on a date because she was interested. But from what she's given off right now, I think she's gonna ask it just to see how loyal he is to her mom. Maybe he takes the bait. Mm -hmm. But I know my mom and she needs more what I've learned the entire time after watching this show is the saying that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree is so fucking true. If I asked you mm. to go on a date with me, mm. would you? No. No? No. Okay. Out of respect for your mom, no. Jose said no, which it would have been pretty wild if he did say yes. It definitely feels good to get a little bit of a attention today by someone that might actually want to talk to me. I ain't even gonna lie. And this is something I think all of us that have watched this show for eight episodes now can be happy about. Joey talking to someone his own age. You're very cute. Thank you. Thank you. You are. are too. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Oh. <laughs> so you'll be down to know me? Oh, I'd be down to get to know you way better. What did I just get myself into? You got yourself into a better scenario, my friend. That is what you've done. There's a chance you guys will talk. Excuse my language, but I could give a to get to know him. Good fucking man! That's what I'm talking about, Joey. Good for him, dude. Now we have a few previews of the next episode. I can't even begin to express the emotions that are currently running through my head. And I didn't know how long the season was gonna last, but it kind of looks like the next episode might be it. Considering the fact that they're all, you know, dresses, suit and tied up, and they have to decide whether or not they want to continue this relationship outside of the villa. Once again, they've been striking these videos down quite a bit. So if you guys want to see the next episode before they do, if you can subscribe, it'd help us out a ton. You guys can leave a like on the video too. We'd appreciate that a ton as well. Once again, this terrible show does not disappoint, and I'll see you guys next time.